holy bish. <gasps> Do we say that? Holy. No, we don't. We say holy. holy Gracie May. Hi, Gracie. I'm sorry you're the Oh, little baby. This is what she likes. Look at her little patitas. Aren't your patitas cute? Kitten butt butt on my head. Yeah. <laughs> There's little kitten butt butt. Do you want to go up? Do you want to go up? No, she wants to stay right there because here in this house, we are slaves to the cats. Yeah. Ash, bleh. Oh no! <laughs> are you familiar with your script? Yes. Did you read the text? We don't have a script, we can write this stuff down. <laughs> Wait, that's why. But I, I worried you for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I became an acting teacher. And today we are going to show you how. I didn't what? like it. <laughs> I didn't like my. Oh, so you didn't like your take. Yeah. So you just ruined the whole thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Mess up the take you have. Do or do not. There is no try. You can try to go vegan and then do it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Brian. And we are. Those, Those annoying, annoying vegans. vegans! And today we are going to show you how to make a classic bar food. Fish and chips. But, obviously, we're going to veganize, veganize it. it. Now we've taken care of the chips part in a previous video, so check our description below for the link to our delicious potato wedges. As for the fish sticks, mm -hmm. or unfish the sticks. Non-fish. Non poisson. Oh, <laughs> non pescado. Ah, <laughs> we will be using tofu and we're going to be coating them in flax egg and rolling them around in our delicious breadcrumb magic mix and baking them. That's right. We're even going to show you how to make your very own tartar sauce to go along with these fishless sticks. Now, you can go to the grocery store and buy vegan tartar sauce. Yeah. It exists. You can. But why not make your own at home, especially when this tartar sauce is so simple and with so few ingredients. And as always, this recipe is delicious, affordable, and easy to make. So let's make it. Let's make it. These turned out really good. So good. Now here's something we forgot to show you in the ingredients part is you take a little a little one of these and you uh you know you spritz it. Ooh, you spritz ooh, it on there ooh. and then you dip. Mm. Uh huh. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> of course it's good. Mm. The lime is very present. Yeah. <laughs> I might have over spritzed it. This is amazing, guys. Without all the negative things of eating a fish. Because yeah. fish is not really good for you. And we're destroying the oceans yeah. by overfishing, yeah. not to mention all the bycatch. And poor fishies, yeah. as Dr. Michael Greger says. We still use our own qualifiers. Oh, they're intelligent. Thus, their lives matter. Once we find out that an animal's smart, like a dolphin, oh, we gotta protect them now. Yeah. Tuna! Oh, Tuna. As a matter of fact, there have been a number of studies that have been proving that fish are just as intelligent, just as feeling, just as aware as any other animal. Just as sentient. That's always a weird thing when people are like, I'm a vegetarian, I only eat fish. I'm what like, tree do they grow on? To me, vegetarian is, should be the word mm -hmm. that you use to describe someone that only eats a plant-based diet. It's in the name. And we heard that that's actually why Donald Watson, who founded the Vegan Society, called it vegan because he just took the front of vegetarian and the back of vegetarian and just and put it together. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. You got vegan. You had to come up with a new word. Fun fact. Yeah. He omitted honey in his original 
1944 decree of, mm -hmm. of what a vegan diet consists of, he says no honey. So besides the fact that fishies are awesome. The fishies are awesome. <laughs> the fishies are awesome when you're not eating them. The fishies are awesome. From the Lego movie. Fish are great. We have made this recipe also for the specific purpose of talking to you about omegas. What? Omega-3s and omega-6s in particular. I read on the internet that you can only get omega-3s from fish. Right, Anna? Right. You're supposed to say no. Oh. <laughs> I'm yes me. ending. I thought you were going to take it well, somewhere else. Well, in this else. case, yes okay. ending would be to say no to further the oh, dialogue oh. between an omnivore and a vegan. Oh, okay. I'll be playing the role of stubborn guy on YouTube trolling videos. Okay, let's start over. Action. You can only get omega-3s from fish. No. What? How you else can you possibly get omega-3s if you do not ingest fish? Lexi! What? Flaxseed, guys. It is the most concentrated form of omega-3s. Get some flaxseed, grind it up. Uh, you have to grind it into a powder because your body will just poop out. <laughs> Goes right through you. Those <laughs> little seeds, they're really <laughs> tough. And Dr. Michael Greger recommends one to two tablespoons a day, which is super easy. You can just throw it in your salad, throw it in your smoothies. I love drinking my water with a couple of tablespoons of flaxseed. It tastes kind of fresh and grassy. One flax egg, by the way, is a tablespoon of ground flax seeds. Mm -hmm. So in this recipe, we use three. Yeah. What? You want to stay away from fish, uh, you know, lead, mercury, PCBs, DDT, yikes. We've just learned that there is a thing called the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. Omega-3s are really, really good for you. Omega-6s, not so much. We still need them, but in a very, very small, minute amounts. In fact, we should ideally be having a one-to-one omega-3 to omega-6 omega ratio up to a one-to-four. Processed foods, they contain a lot of oil. Corn oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, those are really, really high in omega-6s. Not good for you. Even olive oil. Hold on. <laughs> I know. It has a 1 to 14 ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. Dr. Michael Clapper has this awesome lecture on YouTube. Just check it out. The link's below in the description. Pouring olive oil on foods does not suddenly make them heart healthy. Dr. Michael Greger has a really good lecture as well. He's really fun to watch. He's really entertaining mm -hmm. and energetic. And he has a really good explanation of how omega-3s and omega-6s work. Although this enzyme does like omega-3s better when you just so womp your body with omega-6s, this poor enzyme is overwhelmed, makes the omega-3s wait in line, and you make a lot more of this stuff and less of this stuff, and that's yeah, not so great. It turns out we have an enzyme in our bodies that converts omega-3s to EPA, which further convert into DHA, which are really, really, really good for us. Now, what happens when you overwhelm your body with omega-6s? Omega-6s are converted into AA, which is not so good. It can lead to inflammation of the arteries. This is why we have aspirin for cardiac patients because aspirin blocks AA. Flax oil. Oh, we're gonna cheat with flax oil. We're gonna cook with flax oil. <laughs> Hold on! Flax oil, one, has a really short shelf life. It's pricier, and when you cook with flax oil, you kill the omega-3s, which is the opposite of what happens when you use ground flaxseed. The omega-3s, cook them, bake them, whatever, they stay intact. Make a little muffin or a cookie out of them. Yeah. Flaxseed is our personal favorite source of omega-3s because you can get your daily intake like that. But you can also find omega-3s in dark leafy greens or walnuts, hemp seeds. Fish oil, it's a huge marketing yeah. thing. The reason why the fish oil capsule became a thing was because of that push to get people to ingest more omega-3s. Well, it's way easier to just reduce omega-6s. Right. That'll still get the ratio fixed. You can't make an industry money if you ask people to stop doing something. Yeah. You can only make money if you ask them to do the thing that you're selling. Mm, we know that in a previous video, we did get a comment saying, we love how you guys are not afraid to use oil, but there's always room for learning more. Kind of what veganism is all about, right? Improve and learn and take in new information and change opinions and change outlooks. We didn't know about the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, mm -hmm. and now we do know. Yeah. And so, like with anything, you can slowly 
start getting off of that oil. If you do cook with olive oil, a lot of people use olive oil to pan fry vegetables or tofu or whatever you're making at home. You can just as easily use vegetable stock. Or water. And just season it like you would normally season it. Mm -hmm. You'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Dr. Michael Clapper has some great suggestions on how to make salad dressing with no oil. As vegans, we're really good at eliminating cholesterol from our diet. Super primo about mm -hmm. that. Clogging your body with omega-6s isn't heart healthy either. We mm. want to make sure to stay away from the cardiac illnesses, stroke, arrhythmias, heart, heart attacks. Attack. This is a chance for you to wean yourself off of those vegan foods, yes, but processed, not so good. Getting more towards a whole foods plant-based diet. So in the effort of continuing our nutritional education, we will continue to talk more about vitamins and minerals. I think we have a B12 talk coming up. Hint, there's nutritional yeast in this recipe <laughs> and it has B12 in it. Go get some of this stuff. Nutritional yeast, one and a half tablespoons of this has 130% of your daily value. I really do love the ground flax seed and the nutritional yeast because as we said, you sprinkle it on anything. So guys, if you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We will bring you something new every week. Please like, comment, and share our videos. It helps us get out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of you have asked us why we don't have more views or more subscribers. Well, for one, we're still fairly new, less than mm -hmm. a year old. We're almost a year old. But you can help us get out there by sharing our videos. <laughs> word of mouth. <laughs> yeah, word of mouth. That's what I was doing. A special thanks to Cooking with Satan 13 on Instagram. Yes, thank she's you. She's made a few of our dishes and she's tagged us and they look great. And if you make any of our recipes, be sure to tag us on Instagram as well because we love seeing your guys' take on our recipes and we knowing do. that we're not just speaking into a black void of nothing. <laughs> On the interwebs, we jibber jabber a lot, but we also have a recipe. That's our gift to you. Bye. Bye.